Uh, when Mary went to the tomb, uh, why did she think Jesus appeared to be a gardener? Why do you think that? Oh, well, it could be that obviously she wasn't expecting to see Jesus. Secondly, maybe she was crying and, you know, was a little bleary-eyed. Spending all this time with him, though, what do you think? Oh, Jesus. No, I, no, maybe she was downcast. Maybe her eyes were down and she just assumed it was the gardener. Who knows? There's a thousand different reasons, but... After he spoke to her, right. she knew who he was, right? Yeah. I mean, have you ever yeah. mistaken somebody for somebody else? Yeah. Sure, I've done it all the time. It's really embarrassing, too, when you know the person, right? right. <laughs> or you can't remember their name, even. That happens quite a bit. Yeah. So there could be a hundred different reasons why she didn't recognize him initially, but ultimately she did and knew he was the risen Savior. That's the main point, right? Right. I get these questions. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I might ask somebody who asked that question, why is that a big deal? Well, does that cause you not to believe Jesus rose from the dead because Mary initially didn't recognize him? I don't, I don't understand how that would... Yeah, I think it has to do with, uh, was that really Jesus? Uh, it, is that really Jesus on the cross? Oh. And is that really Jesus in the tomb? That well, the problem is, is if, if that wasn't Jesus on the cross, then his closest family mistake, mistook him for somebody else, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, that... Now, obviously, his mother knew who he was, right? Now, his mother thinks that Jesus is on the cross when it's somebody else. No, that, that, that it takes too much faith to believe that. Right. And then somebody did come out of the tomb. If it wasn't Jesus, who was it? So um, okay. there's, it, it doesn't explain enough to say that somebody else was on the cross other than Jesus. It creates too many other problems. This is why, by the way, that um, atheistic scholars and unbelievers tend now, now to not take a position on what happened to Jesus. All they say is, he didn't rise from the dead. They don't give any alternative explanation. They used to say things like hallucinations or swoon theory or they went to the wrong tomb or these kind of explanations. Hardly anybody says that anymore. Why? Because they know there are fatal flaws in every one of those alternative explanations. So they just remain agnostic. We don't know what happened. When all the evidence points to the fact that he came out of that tomb. <laughs>